stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents. This video was inspired by a tweet from Jason Major, a writer at the Universe Today and on his own blog spot, Lights in the Dark. Predation caught on camera. Cutthroat eel catches a squid 11,000 meters down, seen by Noah's ocean explorer, Okeanos. So I made the awesome joke. Finally, an interesting photo from Mars. I thought it was hilarious. He wrote back, maybe events like this occurred on Mars. I like the word maybe. It allows you to play a lot of fun games. And the fun game I would like to play today is a Mars mystery that no scientist I know has properly explained 110%. It's an unexplained Mars mystery. What caused the Valles Marineris? The Valleys of Marineris is a giant gash, scar, sword strike into the heart, or I guess it's more of the chest of Mars. Though if we're using that illusion, that gives Mars three boobs? Get your ass to Mars! You know, with the Olympus Mons and the other two less popular Mons that I can't think of right now. I mean, that to me is one of the coolest mysteries and would probably help you figure out how if Mars had bodies of water, oceans, life, vegetation, Martians, Martian women, Martian women, that'll probably give you a giant clue as to how Mars lost its life. I know there are theories from science that say solar flares rip the atmosphere off and I know the electric universe I think believes that it's a giant lightning bolt scar which sounds cooler and uh I don't know you know maybe Poseidon threw his trident imagine that scenario was probably over a woman or maybe like one of my theories that when the sun shoots out plasma the plasma is made of different material. So if it's like an irony plasma, that the sun shot out super fast plasma that was so dense, it ripped off the side and created Veles Marineris. It's an idea. I just thought it up. Maybe Orion got really mad at Mars, shot him with a bow. I guess it was over the Pleiades sisters. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So that's it. I don't know, man. How come we haven't landed a rover there? Why don't you land a rover on top of Olympus Mont? That'd be cool. And then have it surf the way down. You know what? So I thought, don't spend another dollar on Mars until either Dawn makes it to Ceres. And if Dawn breaks, you are going to go to the freaking Hubble. You're going to turn it to Ceres. You're going to zoom in as far as you can, and you're going to focus for me. You got that? Velez Marineris. Einstein told me to Google it, dude. What's interesting here is it contains the name of Planet X, the 10th planet, Eris, the goddess of Strive, chaos, and discord. So, that's interesting. Why don't you have a phonetic -y thing so I can pronounce it all correctish like? You know? I don't want to look like a dumbass in front of my subscribers. My entire channel is based on me being a genius. I can't afford to look like a fool. Valles Marineris. Latin for Mariner Valleys. Named after the Mariner 9 Mars Orbiter, which discovered it. It's a system of canyons that runs along the Martian surface east of the Tharsis, Tharsis region. At more than 4,000 kilometers, 2,500 miles long, the 200 kilometer, 120 mile wide, and up to 7 kilometer deep, the Valles Marineris rift system is one of the larger canyons of the solar system, surpassed only by the rift valleys of Earth and in length only by Baltis Valis on Venus. Veles Marineris is located along the equator of Mars, on the east side of the Tharsis Bulge, and stretches for nearly a quarter of the planet's circumference. 
the Valles Marineris system starts in the west with the Noctis Labyrinthus. Proceeding to the east are Tithonium and Lus Chasmata, then Melas, Candor, Ophir. Okay, boring. It empties into the outflow channel region, containing chaotic terrain that ends in the Chrysi Plantia. It has been recently suggested that Valles Marineris is the largest tectonic crack in the Martian crust. Most researchers agree that this formed as the crust thickened in the Tharsis region to the west and was subsequently widened by erosion. However, near the eastern flanks of the rift, there appear to be some channels that may have been formed by water or carbon dioxide. Now this is why Thor News is so freaking awesome. Because where scientists mostly agree on something like hey that giant gash cut slice in mars probably caused by plate tectonics i'm like what the f are you talking about bro once you get your nose out of your book go out in the real world for a while and tune into the universe say hello and then see what the universe has to say back i think you'll find you're pleasantly surprised because I'm sorry, but there's almost no way that was caused by plate tectonics, man. You're going to say the three mountains, Olympus Mons, and the other two, you know, that was caused by um, granular, I don't know, like something created Belles Marineris. Something made those mountains, man. The orbiter was a Viking, which surprises me none. Ganges Chasm, 2001, a Mars Odyssey. And the monolith came down, and we turned it into an iPhone and financial weapons of mass destruction, known as credit default swaps and derivatives. Formation. There have been many different theories about the formation of Valles Marineris that have changed over the years. Ideas in the 1970s were erosion or thermokarst activity, which is the melting of permafrost in the glacial climes. <clears throat> Wrong answer. Thermokarst activity may contribute, but erosion by water is a problematic mechanism because liquid water cannot exist in most current Martian surface conditions, which typically experience about a 1% of Earth's atmospheric pressure and temperature range, from really, really cold to not as cold. However, scientists agree that there was liquid water flowing on the Martian surface in the past. Valles Marineris may have formed by flowing water at the time. Another hypothesis by Macaulay in 1972 was that the canyons formed by withdrawal of substance magma. It was addicted to magma? Then it went cold turkey? The canyons formed by withdrawal of substance magma. Wait, it was addicted to subsurface magma? So it cut itself like an emo kid? That sounds like a horrible explanation too. Around 1989, Tanaka and Golomebek proposed a theory of formation by Tensional fracturing. The most agreed upon theory today is that Valles Marineris was formed by rift faults like the East African Rift, later made bigger by erosion and collapsing of the rift walls. Okay, I'm thinking this. There was life on Earth a billion years ago, much more technologically advanced than now. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents Science is like Machiller app, and then we had to restart.